Man, I'm tired. I have some stuff to show you guys, but first I gotta feed my cat some stuff. We normally feed him right after we eat, so he doesn't complain before like 10 when he normally gets fed. Yeah, uh, turn on the lights, you whiny, whiny cat. You think we never feed this guy? Um, it's cat food. Give him about that much before dinner. You're gonna be fed, child. And then he normally gets like a scoop or so. He's a bit overweight. But most of the time when he's not being annoying, he's a sweetheart. Ah, oh, man. I'm exhausted and it's not even Friday. Um, it's day 18 in this project and it's, it's a lot of work. Um, I realize I haven't been editing it or anything, I've just been sticking it straight onto the YouTube. But it's just amazingly difficult to get all my stuff done. But, I do have some interesting news for you. I have a thing for photography. As in, I like doing it, and I like the alternative processes. But, um, lately I've been wanting to do something awesome. So one of the things I'm going to do, and this is going to take... I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about doing this, but is to edit a mythical creature into my negatives. Now I'm just testing it right now on the leader, which is already explo exposed, exposed 100% to um, light, so it turns black because it's a negative. I don't know if you can tell, but I've scraped off some stuff there. That tiny bit was with a needle, the rest of that was with scissors, and I'm going to try some with acetone or fingernail polish remover. For those of you who don't know, um. I have my proof sheets from the photos. Big red light, big red light. So I'm gonna have to decide which photo I want to develop. And yeah, I know I did a failed job of cutting um, and stuff. Because this is my first time doing this in a long time. So in the meantime, as I'm walking upstairs to get the fingernail polish remover, I'm going to tell you the story of my mythical creature. Okay, so in Germany in the 16th century, there were little stories that they used to tell their children to freak them out. Um, one of them was, uh, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, but I believe it is called De Grobman. And De Grobman translates into the tall man. Now the tall man was a beast that looked like a man that lived in the black forest. Um, the grown man would come and take your children if they were in the black forest without people knowing it. He also was the slayer of knights.